Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I want to talk a little bit about differences you may come across if you're using various Google apps on a laptop or Chromebook or in the browser, or if you're using the app version. So I highlighted earlier uh, the differences that occur between Google Jamboard through the app or through the browser version. And this is another uh, difference here that you may see in Google Classroom. That's where you can annotate on assignments. So I am on the iOS app. This will work on the Android app. And if you have access of Google Play on your within your EDU account, this would be an option as well. So let's just say I go into this assignment here that has been turned in by a student. So you can see it's a Google Doc where they wrote uh, some information here. So I just open up the assignment, okay? If you're doing it through the Google Doc, I know you can make comments and give feedback that way. Uh, here's another way where you can annotate on this. So up top, where you see that little pencil there, I can click on that, and this will bring me over to a new page. So here, I still have the same document. Along the bottom, I have various tools. So any one of these tools I click, for example, this pen, you can see I have different colors and lots of different colors to choose from. I can choose from different thicknesses, things like that. So I can take, say this, for example, okay? Um, and I could you know, highlight things, make notes, underline things, whatever it is that you would be doing in providing your feedback, okay? A few other tools along the bottom you'll see as well. You can also add text. So down here where you see that A, okay? By clicking on that, that brings up a text box. So you just sort of click and drag, and you could type something here. And once you're done annotating the assignment, providing feedback for the student, up the top right, you see you have the Save button. So what is actually happening here is actually creating a PDF version of this assignment. So once I'm done with that, you'll see that now I have the assignment the student gave in and you do have the PDF version, okay? So you could either return to the student as is, I could provide a grade, whatever it might be, and I would return that to the student. And so once the student received that assignment, okay, then they would see that in their Google Classroom and be able to read the feedback that you've provided to them.